Hey guys, this is me Priyori Cubo and welcome to my tutorial on the 3x3 Rubik's Cube. If you want to solve the 3x3 cube without memorizing anything, simply rotate the top layer of your cube 45 degrees and pop out an H piece, just like so. Go ahead and disassemble your whole cube and rearrange it so that the cube is completely solved. While the cheating is easy, it's not as impressive as actually solving the cube in front of people. For starting, you need to know the pieces and notations which I'll be teaching you now. The pieces with three colors, like this one over here, is called a corner piece. The pieces with two colors, like this one, is called an H piece. And the pieces with only one color, like these over here, are called the center pieces. The center pieces indicate what should be the color of each side. We are on to the notations. The side that faces you is the front side or F side. The side that faces the right is the R side. The side that faces the left is the L side. The side on the top is the up side or U side. The side on the bottom is the D side or down side and the side on the back is the B side. If I was to say front, turn the front layer clockwise, just like so. If I was to say F inverted or F prime, move the front layer anti-clockwise, counter-clockwise. Now, in learning the 3 by 3 you need to learn the algorithms. An algorithm is a sequence of moves when repeated several times, the cube turns to its original position. Here's an example. Right inverted, down inverted, right, down. If you repeat that algorithm six times, the cube will go back to its original position. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six. For the sake of simplicity, in this tutorial, I'll be solving the white side first. If you want to figure out which side should be of which color, it's easy. Just look at the centerpiece. This one's the white side, as the centerpiece is white. This one's the blue side, as the centerpiece is blue. This one's the yellow side, as the centerpiece is yellow. And so on. It does not matter how the cube is moved, the center pieces do not move at all. They are stationary, as you can see. They cannot be moved. The first step in solving the Rubik's cube is solving the white cross. To do this, look for an H piece like this one, the white and red one. Before getting the piece up where it needs to go, get it directly underneath. Match it with the center so that this is aligned and rotate it twice so that it matches with the white side as you can see. It's important to align the pieces before getting them on the top. Occasionally you, you will find yourself in a position like this, where the piece is in the right spot but needs to be flipped. This is when your first algorithm comes into play. It goes like this, front inverted, up left inverted up inverted and as you can see the piece is solved once you've solved the cross the next step is to put these four corner pieces to solve the first layer just look around the bottom layer for the white corner pieces like this one this is the white orange and blue which needs to go here white orange blue 
to get this up here just do a simple algorithm right inverted down inverted right down repeat it several times so that was one right inverted down inverted right down right inverted down inverted right down here we go congratulations you have completed the first layer was the top layer solved congratulations you have done the first layer the next step in solving the rubik's cube is to solve the second layer by building these four middle pieces before starting flip the cube over so the solved side is down now look into this top layer for these four edge pieces which do not have yellow in them like this one over here rotate the top layer so that it matches its color now you need to see which side it needs to go you will get one of two cases the first one where the piece needs to go to the left and the other one where it needs to go to the right the algorithms are basically the same but little bit different and opposite from each other in this case we have the right one so the right one goes like this up right up inverted right inverted up inverted front inverted up front and there we have it if it needs to go to the left you do this algorithm up inverted left inverted up left up inverted front inverted up front and it's solved using these two algorithms you should be able to solve the second layer once you've solved the first two layers you will have one of four different cases on the top layer this dot right here this l right here this line right here or this cross your goal is to get to this cross if you have this dot hold it so that it's on the top layer and do this algorithm front right up right inverted up inverted front inverted then do and up up and then do front up right up inverted right inverted front inverted and here's the cross if you have this l right here hold it so that it's on the upper right corner hold it on the top layer and do front up right up inverted right inverted front inverted and there you have it if you have this line right here hold it horizontally on the top layer and do front right up right inverted up inverted front inverted once the top cross is done your next job is to align these four edge pieces simply Rotate the top layer 
and align at least two of the edge pieces just like so hold the cube so that one edge piece faces the back and the other one faces the right side and then do right up right inverted up right up up right inverted and then one final up to align all the edge pieces with the center pieces sometimes you will find yourself in a case where two opposite edge pieces match in this case hold the cube so that one side faces the back and the other one faces you and then do the algorithm right up right inverted up right up up right inverted and then you have the last case so hold it so that one is on the back and the other one is on the right and then do right up right inverted up right up up right inverted and you are done the next step is to align these four corner pieces find at least one corner piece in the correct place like this one and hold it on the top right hand side like this then do this algorithm up right up inverted left inverted up right inverted up inverted left people find this case easy to memorize this way up away from you up inverted away from you up towards you up inverted towards you. the last step in solving the rubik's cube uses the same algorithm as the second step just hold any unsolved corner on the top right hand side and then do right inverted down inverted right down over and over, over again until the piece is in the right spot so repeat it right inverted down inverted right down once the piece is solved don't rotate the cube just rotate the top layer and do it again right inverted down inverted right down 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 rotate it again and do the same right inverted down inverted right down 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 and you are done thanks for watching guys hope the video was helpful if it was hit the like button down there like me on facebook follow me on twitter and don't forget to subscribe bye